Kenzie Chop House, one of the city's most beloved steakhouses, has reimagined their menu with the addition of Greek and Mediterranean flavors. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen with a look at a Mediterranean-inspired take on surf and turf is Chef de Cuisine Kevin Gershom. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, we're talking in the break. This is the way that a lot of people should really be eating with these Mediterranean flavors, mm -hmm. the blue zones, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So you Absolutely. guys are doing it in a, in, a, in a little bit of a different way. Yeah, so the coolest thing is that we're dry aging it. We dredge the entire racks of lamb and then we break it down in house. And it's something that at least in Chicago, nobody's aging at the oh. moment. Okay. Um, something, what does dry aging do? So basically it dries and it dries and removes moisture. Okay. And while you lose some portion of the meat in the drying process, uh, it ultimately creates more flavor in the meat you have remaining. Okay. okay. Yeah. So when you say dry meat, people don't initially think it's going to taste good. What about dry aging makes it taste good? Yeah. Well, it's uh, basically how you raise the cattle. Okay. Uh. How you raise the meat, uh, what you feed the meat. Those flavors come through more. Uh. All right. kind of so we're not talking about it. jerky. No. no. We're just talking about <laughs> a well seasoned yeah. piece of meat. Nope. And this if is... you wait long enough, yeah. well, it will get go there. Too far. Yeah. All right. So you have some lamb chops here. Yeah. So we're gonna get these searing. And first. are those just salt and pepper? Exactly, real okay. simple. In so butter. you can taste, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta, the more fat, the better. Okay, cool. oh, man, I like hearing from here. Oh wait, are you grilling that lemon too? Absolutely, so we're gonna char it, because lemon, while it's really acidic on its own, there's a lot of natural sugar. Oh. And, the act of, and once you start caramelizing the sugars, mm. it's a million times better. Mm. All the flavor comes through. Talk about how you guys are getting more of this Mediterranean flavors and styles into the food. Yeah, for sure. So. We're a chop house, yeah. right? And we have a lot of history. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we have to stay true to that. We have to stay true to tradition and Chicago Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. um, but we got to play with it. We can't do the exact same thing that everybody else does. So uh, things like the Greek salad, instead of just a wedge and a Caesar salad. That's this right here? Ooh. Yeah, present the Greek salad. Uh, pesto, rosemary oil. What's, um, the green, what's green here? It's the uh, green pepper, oh. red pepper, grape tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have the luxury right now of uh, one of our owners. Uh, she has a farm in oh. Greece uh, that we're able to source a whole bunch of products from. Wow. Uh, wow. Things that I would never be able to do otherwise. Are these tomatoes, olives, or figs? Uh, caper berries. Cape? Oh, well, okay, that was not one of the options. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've never heard of a caper berry before. Yeah, they're awesome. They're, uh, they're slightly less powerful than okay. like your regular small capers, uh -huh. uh, but way more flavor. Wow, okay, so you talk about one of the owners. So back in 2019, yeah. uh, the Kinsey Chop House was sold. Mm -hmm. had, you guys did a whole great renovation. Yeah. So people that have, that remember the Kinsey Chop House may not, remember, may not be familiar with this new incarnation of it. Oh yeah, I mean like our bar area is gorgeous right yes. now. It's completely changed. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. The dining room, beautiful new tables, um, plateware, Ooh, glassware. So okay, see so there, there we got yeah. a picture of it. But you guys are still in the same place, right behind the merchandise mart, right there yep. on Kinsey and Wells, so the L goes by. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. love it. Now how often are you guys changing your menu? Are you just doing seasonal um, stuff or are you so starting yeah, fall? The goal is to be fully seasonal. Okay. Uh, we're trying to work with more local producers, uh, go more and more local so we can get different things like ramps, mm -hmm. you know, vegetables that are really specific, really seasonal. Yeah. Um, hopefully uh, next month will be the next big change, you know, we could uh, really challenge Ooh. some of the traditional chop house ideas. I love right. that. So we're doing surf and turf, so this is the, uh, the turf, where's the surf? Oh, so we got crab tartare. As oh, okay. soon as I get these lamb chops. Oh, those were uh, so oh, good. Oh, no, good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then you take those out. You flip them over, take them out. How long did you cook them on that one side? So I that's about, it's about 40 seconds for the first sear. Okay. And then we flip, and then we begin the base thing. I and love this. Because this, this gives it so yeah. much more flavor and, and crispy. Look how they got the little yeah. technique going and everything. And then I see you have some uh, sashimi out, too. Yeah. So our sashimi, we keep it actually pretty simple. It's just really nice sockeye salmon, really good Hokkaido scallops, freshly sliced. And then the key is that we present our olive oil. Ah. Same olive oil from uh, uh, Nicole's uh, family farm. Yeah. 
So, and it's it's not an olive oil that you could ever cook with. It, it's, uh, it has a really low burning point. Can I try one? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, so we only got 30 seconds here, so can we get started with the crab tartar? Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Oh, my gosh, that, well, that smells me. so good. Oh. oh, gosh. And this seems pretty simple here. Yeah. Super simple. Tomatoes, uh, lemon basil oil, some uh, green and red chilies. Mm -hmm. Uh, mix it <gasps> together oh, with wow. uh, poached crab. I was saying, it's not tartar because it's not, the crab is cooked. Yeah, we yeah. do <laughs> poach it in advance. Yeah, uh, unfortunately for time yes. constraints. Yes, right, of course. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, once again, poaching is beautiful because you can do it with a fat. Mm -hmm. um, about a minute and a half, two minutes, depending on the size of the crab, but if it is that just the so crab good. leg. That looks delicious. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, so while you finish plating that, check out Kinsey Chop House on North Wells, as Tanya mentioned. Uh, Kinsey Sh uh, Chop House, the social media handles, KinseyChophouse.com is the website. And again, next month, some more menu items that we'll be changing with the seasons. Okay, so once you take them off, you're gonna squeeze some of the uh, the lemon on there, is that what you're doing? I generally like to let the guests uh, oh, squeeze it themselves, okay. you okay. know? All right. Free, but that way you're able to try it on its own. Oh, Fantastic, man. Chef. delicious. All Ooh. right. We got to go, but we're definitely tasting yeah, this on the uh, break. Mm -hmm. All right.